it's Ben Hassel here and here in this tutorial I'm going to have a look at how we can work with Rev to create captions for our YouTube videos. Now basically I've got this 45 minute kind of full intro to Final Cut Pro 10 and I don't have time to kind of go through the whole video and amend the kind of automatic captions that YouTube has given me. So I'm going to give Rev a try and see how well it can caption it. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, kind of set up the account. So we're going to be captioning the video here. So basically kind of says it's 99% accurate and a 24 hour turnaround time. So we're going to kind of fire it off to Rev and then see how well it comes back. So we'll hit get started. Uh, we're going to be pulling videos directly from my account. So we'll go to YouTube and it's going to link it together. Sign me in. So we'll select that and we're going to sign in with a regular username so Rev's gonna see edit and permanently delete all my YouTube videos we're gonna trust Rev with this there's some information here so we'll hit allow and basically I can pick from my videos here so I've got my YouTube videos here we're gonna click this video add it to my selected cart and basically uh, it's saying that it's going to caption 46 minutes at 57.50. I can rush my order if I want to. I don't need to do that. Uh, and it's going to automatically deliver my files back to YouTube as an SRT. So I've got some options here uh, for kind of different kind of transcripts and stuff like that as well. So we can always download the transcript from YouTube. So I think that's pretty much everything we need to do. If we add a foreign language here, um, we can transcribe it and translate it um, as well into different languages, which could be super useful. And everyone is kind of like a different price here. So we could translate it to Chinese traditional and it's gonna make it $230. Let's not do that for this particular video. Uh, so we'll stick with the default here. We're not gonna translate it to a foreign language. We'll hit checkout. And now I believe I'm probably gonna to have to create an account. So we'll set this up. I really can't remember how I heard about Rev, so I'm just going to hit Twitter and I'm going to agree to everything. That's all good. Let's hit next. We'll type in the credit card details and we'll place the order. Okay, so this is giving me some information about improving my order quality uh, so I can add a glossary to that. Uh, I can't remember all the words I said in Final Cut Pro 10. I can add a script. Um, I don't have that. And I can add speaker names, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's just me speaking in the video. So it's going to notify me once I've got it. And we'll just kind of wait and see uh, how it happens. So my order's confirmed and it should be ready within 24 hours. It's 3.38 on Wednesday. So I guess we're going to get an email at some point in the next 24 hours um, that will say this is all ready. So we'll come back and check it out. The Rev turnaround time is advertised as 24 hours and I got my turnaround time in 16 hours, which is great. So this is one of my longer videos, a 45 minute video, and I've watched it through um, and basically the captioning is excellent. So if we come into YouTube, basically you can see what's happened here is because I've kind of linked my Rev to YouTube, uh, the subtitles here have been uploaded automatically. So basically this version that's been published here has been published by Rev uh, on my behalf. So we'll come to the video and just have a quick look at this. We'll turn on the captions here. Here in Final Cut Pro, we're going to do a complete intro to Final Cut Pro. Now, we're going to be looking at everything you need to start working with Final Cut Pro. So we're going to be looking at where you can download some free video stuff. So I've edited the YouTube captions before. Um, and what I found is that the timing of them is sometimes a little bit out. But basically, this is kind of word for word perfect. So the titles I've got through from Rev are really high quality, which you would hope is it's one of the more expensive services that you can use out there. So if we just jump to a different part of the video. So even the little colloquialisms that I've kind of spoken, like Gunner and stuff like that, are in there perfectly. So if we kind of glance through again. So looking through my video and kind of watching it through, I really didn't notice any mistakes in the subtitles. They were kind of word for word perfect. The timing was perfect. But if you do notice any mistakes, if we come back here, obviously there's kind of some space here to uh, feed back to Alma. Um, I guess the captioners get a kind of review here. If we go to view and edit, it's going to take us into Rev. 
And basically we have a project here that we can modify. So if we kind of scroll down, we can quickly glance the transcript if we need to. We can click in here, we can make modifications. We can make modifications to the timing. So this was one thing that I spotted was that as you start out with Final Cut Pro 10, uh, normally I would write that as Final Cut Pro X. We can save that and then we can kind of upload the changes to YouTube up at the top right here once we're happy with it. But you can see even things like FX Factory, you know, the capitalization is perfect for the subtitles and we can kind of quickly scan through here and kind of see if there are any mistakes or kind of misspellings or anything like that and um, particularly with things like final cut pro or some of the plugins we might use definitely the spelling of it might not always be completely obvious in terms of how you would spell it to someone uh, subtitling this but i'm really happy overall even the website pexels which is kind of a strange word um, is spelt correctly which is great so if we hit upload to youtube Basically, now I've changed that one word, Final Cut Pro 10, so Final Cut Pro X, and it's gonna overwrite my previous captions, so we can update that. And so Rev is kind of connected to YouTube, and then we can go to the video, but we'll just close it. Now, the sounds in my video are super simple. There's no kind of atmospheric sounds or anything like that. I can revert the original Rev version, so if I kind of make changes here and kind of mess up and I can revert to the original version which is super handy and then there's some other options in here as well there is a spell check um, here as well so if we do a spell check you can see it wants to change this to my name to Walsall which I don't want to do um, so basically I can ignore that so yeah we've got the option here to ignore them all uh, or ignore it once so we can skip through them we'll ignore it all and then you can see we are kind of highlighting 4k here and um, we'll just skip that uh, ProRes is spelt correctly here, that looks good. So I'm not gonna change that. So we'll ignore that once as well. And so all the custom terminology here seems to be corrected perfectly throughout the whole transcription. So we are gonna go back to my files. Um, basically I'm happy with all of that. I didn't really change anything. Um, I can add a rating here, It'd definitely be a five. And so that job is done. I'd really recommend the, the interface for Revit seemed to kind of flow really nicely. And obviously having that transcription, those subtitles can really help you uh, when you're kind of creating your videos for YouTube. So also one other thing that we can do here if we come back to the email is download this. So basically we're gonna allow downloads from Rev. It's the first time I downloaded from them. And you can see here it's downloaded the SRT file so if we wanted to burn captions into something like Instagram or something like that, then we can use this SRT file to kind of bring it back into Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm actually just going to drag this and open it up in text edit. Uh, and you can see here, basically, we've got the, the kind of whole transcription um, of that file. So minute for minute, we can kind of uh, see what we've written. And sometimes you might want the transcription because you want to modify and edit it into a blog post, or something like that, which is a really good idea. If you're looking to improve how your content is found online, then definitely kind of transcribing the text or writing a blog post from the transcription is a, is a great idea. So overall, I'm super happy with kind of how Rev worked. Hopefully this kind of gives you an overview of the, the process of getting your video subtitled. Obviously, this is a longer video, so a bit more expensive. But if you're doing shorter videos, then I can see the kind of cost for doing client videos in this way uh, being really worthwhile. I think I might do some other videos here on how you get these subtitles back into Final Cut Pro and then burn them into Instagram. I've done some other videos in the past on getting them from YouTube, but looking at kind of how we can work with the, the Rev project files would also be kind of interesting as well. So I hope you found this kind of overview of my first look at rev.com uh, really useful. Um, if you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial or review.